Today I want to talk all about photography advice here on YouTube. There's a lot of it out there and I want to go through and explain the types of content and the pieces of advice that I found most helpful. I'm going to explain the types of videos that I haven't found that helpful in my development as a photographer and I'm going to use that as a basis to discuss the types of videos that I want to make and the types of videos you can expect to see on this channel moving forward. Hello everyone, thanks for joining me today. My name is Chris Harvey and I'm a photographer based in North Wales and today I have the incredibly difficult job of unpacking this massive topic. So really the thing that has spurred on this video is over the last few weeks you'll have noticed that I've been being a lot more considerate about my approach to photography in terms of the locations where I shoot and what I choose to shoot and I've been really favouring going to places where I have somewhat of a connection and there's some reason to be photographing that location beyond the fact that it's potentially just quite nice and might yield potentially nice photos and this week is no exception my sister got married at the weekend on the Wirral uh, which is a peninsula here in England not far from the Welsh border and it's where my girlfriend Alex is where her family are from so I wanted to take the time this weekend whilst we were in the area to do a little bit of photography because I've never really done that and I thought it would be a nice way to kind of I guess cap off that experience um, so I'm going to share that video I'm going to share the photos whilst I talk about this topic so let's get into it so when I say photography advice here on YouTube this encompasses a myriad of different types of videos from gear reviews from cameras and lenses to tutorials based around editing or techniques or camera settings and it also encompasses things like podcasts and conversations with photographers that lead to ideas and better ways to think about our images and that's probably not even an exhaustive list there's probably far more types of content out there but I guess for me there have been certain types of content that have enabled me to take bigger strides forward in my photography than others. Now I preface this whole video by saying that this is completely subjective and the motivation and the reasons that you have for watching certain videos are going to be completely different. I completely appreciate that. Sometimes we just enjoy certain creators and we would watch everything that they do regardless of the type of video. And it's the same for me, there are just certain creators here on YouTube that I tune into every week because I just really enjoy their photography. But I see a lot of videos these days and maybe it's a bit of a trend and maybe it's just the kind of climate of videos on social media but I see a lot of people making videos with thumbnails and titles that are around how to get sharp photos and do this if you want to be a professional photographer and professional photographers do this. And I think those videos certainly have their place. I'm not throwing shade on anybody who makes that type of video. I think educational videos about technical aspects of photography are certainly beneficial. But in 2024, I personally don't feel like I can add anything else to that conversation. Sure, I could maybe present it in my own way as I do with my videos, but it's not really the type of video that I want to make because being a professional photographer and doing photography in an artistic way, sometimes I don't want sharp photos, right? I did an exhibition last year for ICM photography called Impressions of the Welsh Landscape and not a single one of those photos was sharp. And being a professional photographer shooting commercially, there are things that I've seen videos on about what mode you should shoot in and you should be doing X, Y and Z to be a professional photographer and I don't do any of those things, yet I make a living doing photography. So this is where I feel like I have a bit of a bone of contention, I suppose, because if you are inexperienced or if you're a beginner and I guess, you know, you come across videos like that, you might think that that is the way that you need to shoot. And I think what these types of videos do, these ones that focus on how to get sharp images and do this if you want to be a professional photographer is that they try to give definitive answers, but really we can't have definitive answers in photography because it's a subjective art form. Now I understand that there's no getting away from the fact that if you want to freeze motion in an image you need to shoot at a high shutter speed. There are certain things that are just fundamentally a given, but there is so much room in photography 
for that idea of self-expression and doing things in the way that you want to do it. And I think those are the types of things that we need to be talking about more. It's all the stuff outside of the technical aspect of photography. It's more the things that encourage us to sort of think deeper about process and what it is that we're trying to create. I think this stems from the fact that some of my favorite images that I've seen from other photographers are probably images that aren't technically perfect, yet the image that they've created is just exceptional for reasons outside of the technical, I guess the technical approach to taking the photo. And I think that is just something that is quite sort of profound for me. And it makes me realize that thinking about, you know, all of these really technical things isn't the thing that is creating good images. And really, it's a case of trying to find the content that enables you to exercise that muscle. And that muscle is creativity. And the trouble with creativity is it's the hardest thing to teach and it's the hardest thing to try and explain to somebody. I believe creativity is, is more of a lifestyle than it is a skill that you can practice. And whilst practicing creativity is really important, you need to give yourself opportunities to feel creative. And that comes from external influences. It's why I read books and I watch films and I, you know, buy photo books and I read blogs and I listen to podcasts about photography, conversations with artists and photographers to understand their process and the way that they think and their approach to their work. These are all the things that are external influences that isn't necessarily you learning anything technical, but it's just you consuming and surrounding yourself with those types of stimulus and those types of influences because that will inevitably impact the work and the photos that you make. And when I think about advice here on YouTube, that's the type of content that I find really helps me take leaps forward in my photography. Understanding a photographer's process from their daily routine to how they brainstorm ideas to how they flesh out concepts for books or projects, these are all the things that I just think are so valuable. For my videos moving forward, I want to remove that idea of talking in absolute saying that this is what you must do because you can do whatever you want. I think what's most beneficial is just giving you guys some ideas. So I'm not going to be saying that you should do this or you should do that, but I hope my videos will just give you some things to think about. It's like that adaptation on like a quote, I suppose, that videos shouldn't be giving you definitive answers. They should be prompting you to ask better questions. And I think that's kind of what good photography does, is that it doesn't necessarily tell you the whole story, but it may be is provocative and makes you ask questions about, well, what's in the frame? Where does that path go to? What is that person doing? You know, where is that landscape in the world? And I think videos can also offer a similar, a similar response. I guess it's that idea of just not being preached at by saying this is the way that you need to do things and just maybe saying, here are some ideas that you might find helpful. As always, guys, it's great to hear from you. So I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. I will leave it there for today. Um, I don't want to ponder this too much because I can get quite rambly and I think I'm just about getting to that point now. So I just want to thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the photos and you enjoyed the video. And I will see you all next week for another one.